MTD CNC today are in Leamington Spa. We're at Mills CNC. I'm here in their turnkey center, fabulous turnkey center uh, here. And I'm looking at uh, an advanced technology machine. This is the MX1600 735 from Doosan. As you'll see straight away, this is a mill turn offering from Mill CNC. Now, the great thing about this machine is its size. Uh, I, I think from my opinion here on this machine, often we're presented with mill turn machines that are much bigger than this and often an overkill for the size of part that we're machining. Now there are lots of complicated parts that need manufacturing and often they're done on maybe one, two or three machines uh, rather than doing them in one operation which this machine is all about. Now Mill CNC have mentioned me, to me today that this particular machine uh, has been very successful in the medical sector but I think it can lend itself uh, to many applications that are maybe complicated parts uh, but maybe slightly smaller. So the machine itself, as we see it, uh, we're presented here with a machine that does actually have a single spindle. We have a B-axis head uh, and we also have a, a fully uh, programmable servo-driven tail stock. Now this can be replaced uh, with a twin spindle and as well as having a twin spindle on this machine, you can also have a turret down the bottom of the machine with either eight stations or 16 stations, uh, which can obviously have full uh, driven tool capability as well. But you can also use that turret as almost uh, like a, um, a, hydro, well, a steady rest to support longer parts if you're machining those. So the biggest thing about this machine to me is the capability of the multi-axis nature, but not only that, the fact that it sits in a very small footprint. There may be manufacturers out there that have uh, currently Y-axis offerings that will fit in a similar footprint to this. So why wouldn't they go one step further and be able to equip themselves with a B-axis machine like we have here? Now the actual machine is less than 3.5 meters in length. It is a full five-axis machine this particular model is, it's a full five axis, you can do full five axis simultaneous machining, uh, but you can obviously select the machine as well, so you, you don't have to do full five axis, you can have three plus two or four plus one. Uh, the movement on this B axis is actually 230 degrees, and it does perfectly lend itself to small uh, and complicated component manufacture. Now as well as having maybe an eight station or a 16 station turret, in the back of the machine, you also have a 40 tool ATC, now, within this ATC, the tooling that this machine uses is actually Capto C5. So you can see here in the, uh, in the head that we have at the moment, we actually have a Capto C5 tool in the machine. Now, you'll all be well aware of Doosan and Mill CNC. In fact, within the Doosan range, there's almost 400 machine tools available, of which this is just one model. And in fact, a couple more facts about Doosan. Last year, they made more machine tools than any other manufacturer around the world. Now, the makeup of this machine it is actually a linear motion machine. You'll see the linear guides here, high speed, um, extreme levels of precision, which again would, would uh, really fit into the medical sector and other sectors where you're demanding uh, complicated, high tolerance components. A real high value uh, component making machine this is. And there is, of course, also the option on the control to have not just necessarily FANUC, but you can go for a Siemens as an option. Many production outfits do uh, have their preferences on controls, and here you can choose between the FANUC and the Siemens. Also, a couple of accessories on the machine that are important to point out. Here we have a Renishaw um, touch probe here. This will obviously set the tools for you. We have here a parts catcher. Now, this will move to the front or the first spindle on the machine or the main spindle of the machine and pick up the components and then deliver them to a parts conveyor which we have that goes out of the side of the machine. The evacuation of the swarf, well, I've got to say, as I lean into the machine, it is very, uh, very accessible. Uh, I can imagine setting this machine as an operator and actually uh, I'm presented with a very open space and a pretty much waist height um, to the chuck if I was standing on a duckboard here on this machine. So easy to access. Uh, the evacuation of the swarf is very clear, uh, which it needs to be because this would or could lend itself to production, especially if you had the twin spindle on this machine. So I think the biggest key points here is the size of the machine, 
the capabilities of this machine uh, within the footprint that it sits. Mill term machines historically, there are many in the market, but they would be or would generally be much bigger than this, meaning here you can get uh, more machines in a, in a factory or in a smaller area. Uh, very advanced technology, uh, fast machining, high precision machining of high value complicated parts. This is now another offering from Mill CNC here in the UK uh, and Doosan. This is the MX 1600 735 and that 735 denotes the bed length.